Hey you guys, um, actually let me change the title real quick. We are back with Starbound for about 30 minutes. A lot has happened, uh, off stream. <laughs> because I've wanted to play so much, but I've not done any of the story. Although I did accidentally finish the scanning, um, because I didn't know stealing the furniture was going to add to the scanner, and it did. So we finished scanning for the Florin, or... I don't remember who we were scanning, the Hylodal, I guess? But whatever race it was, we finished the scanning, and that's it. I haven't done anything beyond that, but I have... I've upgraded my ship all the way. <laughs> Uh, I've got amazing armor. I've got the best armor and uh, I've got all of the skills upgraded. I've got everything upgraded. There's pretty much nothing left for me to do except to just decorate everything. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump in. I've got new clothes and everything. Uh, like vanity outfits. This is our house. I don't know if you... <laughs> You probably won't recognize it. <laughs> oh man, this is lagging. I might have to restart the game. It's really lagging. Let me restart it, I guess. I did this last time. <sighs> Sorry about this. But yeah, we've I've got a lot done since last time. <clears throat> it's been almost a week. <laughs> Yeah, it much better. Alright, let me just go to the outside so you can remember what it looks like. The tour itself is probably going to take a long time. Yeah, so this is where, you know, this is where I made my house. And I've done a lot. <laughs> We've got vending machines. I made these signs. Uh, I'm, I plan on making some more detailed bigger signs. Uh, it'll take a while for me to do that. <clears throat> I've got this thing down here makes my money into blocks so I don't lose them when I die. <clears throat> All my crafting is upgraded. I've got some toys. <laughs> some little stuffed animals up there. And uh, I have the little Pokeball thingies. It's this right here, the capture pods for capturing a pet, but I have not captured a pet yet. <clears throat> but when we do, we can put it here and it'll just walk around this room. So I made a room for it. That's the healing station if it gets hurt. <clears throat> made a little dance club here with a fog machine. <laughs> I made these, all these signs I made myself without looking at anything. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear it, but this thing here is playing music. We've got beer and stuff all over the place, some more vending machines. I've got my own private loft up here with fishies and owl clock. It's got a little uh, music box, but I don't know if you can hear it. Eh, just barely. All of this stuff is stolen. <laughs> I did not make any of these items <laughs> myself. That's what I do. I, I run around and steal things. I have a golden toilet. I stole that from the king. Got a shower. I don't know. You can't really start the shower or anything. Um, I have some really cute hats. <clears throat> I just like this hat because it goes with the wings. But unfortunately, there's no armor that goes with that hat. It's just the hat. Uh, it was a contest entry for hats only. I'm not sure where I put the other hat. I think it's in my house. I mean the the ship. <clears throat> and okay, this is all the storage here. A little security area here. 
We have an arcade. We've got all these arcade machines and uh, there's stuffed toys up there. <laughs> we have a DDR machine. Uh, air hockey. And stuffed animals all over the place. And then here's, I guess, a little restaurant over here. I don't know. <laughs> I was just. I got very bored and just wanted to keep playing. We got a hot tub here. I've got a fog machine here to make it look steamy. That was my son's idea, actually. It's got this running water. It sounds really nice. I'm trying to do this really quickly so that we can get to the quest. But uh, my son says he's not going to stream tomorrow, so I, we can stream this all day tomorrow. Or all night after Lacey's done. <clears throat> but uh, I got a second teleporter for this place because this place is so huge. This is going to be like a shortcut to the stuff. <clears throat> the storage. So we got a f we have a farm now. Which they should be ready to harvest from. Oh, and I have a treasury! The gold here I actually made myself. But the boxes and stuff were actually already in this place and I just moved them here. I don't think there's anything in there. Um, some of the rooms I did actually build myself. Uh, this room we're about to see, I built myself. I dug it out and everything. <coughs> <coughs> the restaurant, all of those rooms, I, I dug out and built myself. Oh, here we go. They're called Fluffalos. I don't remember their each individual names, but... <coughs> this one got, does uh, static cells because it's electricity. There's a blue one behind it that's... I think it's the cryonic extract. I don't know if you can... He's right there! <laughs> this one does fire cores. Or scorched cores. That one is, this one's the normal one and it gives plant fibers. I don't know why. He's got a mustache. And this one's a, a poison one because it's venom. Is that it? Yeah. Plant fibers I keep myself. <clears throat> so anyways, we're gonna go to... Ed. Well, I haven't done anything with the rest of this yet. Uh, I did add a little bit to the torture chamber. I added the guillotine. Uh, I think I showed you guys this last time, but I don't think I put it here. Uh, this little thingy here. I don't know what that's called. And I added this torture. It's called a torture table or something like that. <laughs> Uh, and the guillotine is actually a bed. You can sleep in it. <laughs> Naked! <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Uh, I think I actually put something in here. I did! I have a whip! I put a whip in here. Pow. Pow. It also does that. But <laughs> An electric whip. I thought that was funny. I had to put all my, uh... Beach ball came back to me. You'll see why I have that in a minute. <laughs> Alright, here we go. To the ship! There's so much to show you guys. Alright. We've got a little playroom, guest room here, I guess. And we've got... My room! It's all peaceful. And it's got turtles and unicorns. And I've got a little chime here. I don't know if you can hear it, but it makes a really soft tinkling noise. It's really nice. There's a bathroom. Oh, she actually takes her pants off. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> yeah, our ship is completely upgraded. This is as big as the ship gets. And it cost me a lot of money. So, uh, I, I just built this recently, so I'm not really all that done with it yet. <clears throat> And I've got a swimming pool. With some glowy things. I don't know. <clears throat> the beach ball was for this thing. But uh, unfortunately, the beach ball will not stay in here. It'll kind of float there for a little bit, and then it sinks. <laughs> and if we leave and come back, it's gone. And I guess it goes back to my inventory. I had no idea it went back into my inventory. <clears throat> There's our little bunny. 
So anyways, let's... Do I have anything here? Okay. No. So I've got these cool weapons. I have this one here. Oh, my hat. I gotta show you my hats. I got this one that's a kitty cat that sits on my head backwards. <laughs> so its butt is showing. I thought that was cute. What was the other one? I have this one that's a little green thing sucking on my head. I like the kitty cat though. And I want the full set of this where it makes me look like an alpaca. Look at that someday. Uh, I think I find those on cold planets. I've been avoiding cold planets ever since I did the mining. But anyways, this weapon does something really cool. It heals me. It puts up this little space. And as long as I'm inside of it, I'll get healed. And I've got this gun. This kind of... I don't know. And a fire sword. I don't know. Just stuff like that. Uh, oh, we don't need to go anywhere just yet. Not with the ship, at least. We can go to the outpost from here. <sighs> Trying to show you guys everything so I can get to this next quest. Uh, the outpost hasn't really changed. Uh, there's, uh, I guess we'll save all the side quests for next time because I wanted to do... I'm confident enough to try to do the arena stuff that this le the flooring girl here will tell will let us do. And there's another side quest from the, one of the penguins, and I, I think we can do it now. Anyways, let's talk to her. That was the last clue we needed to find the Hylodal artifact. Wonderful work, dear. Ooh, we got a, a goodie bag. Alright, three, two, one. Boop. We got a teleporter core. Awesome. From what you found, it seems the Hylodal artifact is cloistered deep beneath the ocean in a place called the Grand Pagoda Library. The library is very ancient. It should be on it should be an interesting place to visit. Awesome. I don't think we'll get to finish it, but let's at least go and check it out. I have received coordinates for the Grand Pado P Pagoda Library. Use the ship computer to access the location. Alright, well, let's do that. So much booty. Yes, I've got a lot of booty. <laughs> See this? It sank. I don't know why it sinks, but it sinks. Whoops. What, baby? Oh, okay. <laughs> Close my door. I love you. Alright. Talk to this. Missions. Oh, I also have no crew because you had to do a bunch of quests and then they're like, oh, I like you. Uh, okay. Grand Pagoda. I don't, I think this is completely new. I've never seen this before. This ancient island complex has been calculated to be the approximate location of the Hylodal artifact. Let's go! Another thing I forgot to show you guys is um, the EPPs can have augments on them. And this one has healing 3, which means my health regenerates as fast as it can. I also I made another one because I have light 3 that makes me glow really bright. And I'm going to... I don't know. I don't think I need the healing one. <laughs> This island is home to the Grand Pagoda Library entrance. Cool. There's a soccer ball. And these little flower things, you can sit in them. I don't know why, but you can. Is someone there? The library's motion sensors are picking up a signal. You have to help me. Okay. I'm sorry, my name is Koichi. Or Koichi. I'm here researching great hilo hilotal thinkers, but oh, 
something. Oh. Whoops! Ugh. I'm sorry to impose, but please rescue me. I'll open the entrance hatch. Okay. Anything to steal? What's this? Iron Beak's journal. I don't think we have that. Maybe one of these days I'll read all of the stuff that I've got. But I, I won't read it right now. We're in a hurry. Let's see if there's anything over here. Ugh, I just love these fountains. I've stolen so many of them. Time to smash! Can I go into the water? Yeah, let's just go for a dip. <laughs> Forget about that quest. Alright, let's go down. <laughs> Current exterior pressure reading 15 quash. Scans show the structure is capable of withstanding in access of 80 squa quash. Chance of. Uh, this library is suffering from sorry neglect. I'm. Afraid you, but I can ass assist you. I can monitor the library through these old holographic projection displays. <sighs> Stop talking so fast. Okay, well, looks like I can't operate these in any way. What's this? Ooh. Let's try and learn this. <clears throat> we learned to craft pressurized support. Okay. Oh, there's nothing over here. Is there? No. I guess we keep going down or to the right. These are actually really cool. I wish I could uh, <clears throat> make something like this. I apologize for your having to stumble around in the dark. The breakers in the room nearby. Oh, it's okay. It's glowing. I didn't even realize the lights were not on. <laughs> That's how strong the glow is, I guess. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these. Yeah, let's take it. Take everything. I guess we go this way. <clears throat> I know this library is in disrepair, but still isn't wondrous. But isn't it still wondrous? So many resources, thousands of years of literature, art, and essay. Did you know the texts here predate our near extinction at the hands of the Florin hordes? Oh, okay. <laughs> he just kind of vanishes. He, she, I don't know. Do I go down? I don't know. I guess not. Oh, uh, oh, these things are cute. I can tame those. <laughs> Maybe I will. I'll tame one. I think I can have more than one pet. But I don't know if I can tame in these areas. Oh, can I go down here? Whoa! What's that? Neat tile, okay, sure, I'll take that. I'll take anything that's not nailed down. 
I learned to craft ornate tiles, huh? I guess champagne is too good for me to break. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. I'm just kind of wandering around in the dark. The library's motion sensors are picking up movement below your location. Please be careful down there. These people are violent thugs. I see you. I don't know if I can even catch those because I can't get them below. <laughs> 50 health, 50% 50 health without just killing him. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> I can't. Well, maybe this thing can. It's pretty weak. That's fine. I'll get it for you later, okay? But what do you want? That's fine. Alright, go. Close my door, please. You like the graphics? And the graphics are nice. Ah, oh, you're coming home! Okay. I don't get to play for very long. Oh, a new thing I have also is I can turn into this little spiked ball. It's called a spiked ball. And it lets me climb up uh, walls. It makes doing challenges extremely easy <laughs> anyways I guess I gotta stop now so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play again and watching Lacey let's go ahead and go back up leaving the mission where we set your progress yes I know um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching Lacey play for a little bit and my son playing Earthbound um, tomorrow I'll be playing this again as soon as Lacey is done so Hopefully, two hours of Starbound, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great evening, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So, take care, and good night.